thanks for watching. And today I want to cover a beautiful geometry problem that I found on TikTok among all places. Namely, consider the following two ellipses. One which has the equation x squared over 16 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. And the other one has the equation x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. Now, notice in this picture, those two ellipses have a common tangent line. In fact, four of them. Like this one, and also later we'll see this one, this one, and this one. And the question is, without using any calculus, find the equations of those common tangent lines. And you will see, this will actually bring us on a nice algebra adventure with discriminants and everything. So get excited. OK. Now, suppose we have a tangent line. So y equals mx plus b. Well, at some point, x and y, it should satisfy the equation of this ellipse. So in other words, we could plug in y equals mx plus b in this equation to then get x squared over 25 plus mx plus b squared over 9 equals 1. And let's just try to solve that equation now. And you will see it becomes a crazy polynomial, but it will simplify a lot. So first of all, let's multiply both sides by 9 times 25, which is 225. And what we get is 9x squared plus 25 mx plus b squared equals 225. And now let's expand out that square, of course. 9x squared plus 25m squared x squared plus 50 mxb plus 25b squared equals 225. And how about we write this as an equation in terms of x and x squared? So here we have a x squared, here we have x, and then we have nothing. So what we get is 9 plus 25m squared x squared almost e equals mc squared, but here it's m25m squared. And then plus 50bmx, okay, and then plus 25b squared minus 225 equals there. And again, the nice thing is this becomes a quadratic function in x. So of course, now we can just use a quadratic formula to get x. I know. Again, it looks crazy, but you'll see. Very beautiful simplification. X is minus 50 mb, m to the b, m to the b, plus minus square root 50 mb squared minus 4 times 9 plus 25 m squared times 25 b squared minus 225. <laughs> over, again, 2a, so 2 times 9 plus 25m squared. Whew. But remember, our goal is not to solve for x. Our goal is to solve for m and b. And for this, I would like to remind you of the picture a little bit. Well, here's the thing. What is a tangent? It's a line that just touches the ellipse at a point. So in particular, it, it shouldn't cross the ellipse at two points. It shouldn't look something like that. And also, it shouldn't like, not touch the ellipse at all. And that is like the big insight into this. Because notice, look at this discriminant. Well, if it's positive, it means around this point, the tangent line actually intersects that ellipse at two points. Because we would have two solutions that are very close to each other. 
If this discriminant is negative, we would have a point where the tangent line doesn't touch the point at all and doesn't touch the ellipse at all, and that's a problem. So, what can we conclude? Well, since there's one solution, this discriminant has to be zero. And that is what helps us ultimately solve for m and b, because this gives us much nicer equations. So in other words, because we only have one point of intersection, this discriminant has to be zero. So in other words, 50 mb squared minus nine, 4 times 9 plus 25 m squared 25 b squared minus 225 that equals 0. And what we can do, for example, well, here's a 25 that factors out. There is a 4. So let's divide this by 100. And then what we get is, well, 50 squared is 2,500. So we get 25 m squared b squared minus, so again, this cancels out. And again, this also becomes something. So we get minus 9 plus 25 m squared, and then times b squared minus 9 equals 0. But the beautiful thing is you can expand this out, and you get another simplification. So 25 m squared b squared minus 9 b squared plus 81 and then minus 25 m squared b squared and then plus yeah 9 times 25 225 m squared equals 0 and as promised here's another nice simplification this cancels out and what you're left with is simply 9b squared. If one, you can put those things on the right hand side. So 9b squared minus 225m squared equals 81. And notice this is an equation that doesn't depend on x at all. And you can also divide this everything by 9. And what you get is b squared minus um, 25 m squared equals 9. So no, yeah. And again, this is an equation that doesn't depend on x at all. Now here's the thing. That's what we got when we used one ellipse, the horizontal one. But here's the thing. You can repeat the same thing for the vertical ellipse. And it turns out you get another equation that's similar. You get b squared minus 16m squared equals 25. And again, that's because in the end we had something independent on x. So then, again, you can just repeat the equation with x for the other ellipse. And the nice thing is, from that, we can then simply solve for m and b, and then solve for it, and then go home happy. All right, because remember, we had the system b squared minus 25m squared equals 9, and b squared minus 16m squared is 25. Well, just subtract this from this, and what we get is uh, b squared minus 16m squared minus b squared plus 25m squared, that is 25 minus 9. Oh, it's almost like Mr. Beast, but Mr. b squared. I challenge you. Ah, okay. And then we get the b squares cancel out. Oh no, not the b squared. And this becomes so 9m squared. 25 minus 9 is 16. So what we get is m squared is 16 over 9. So m is plus or minus 4 thirds. And in fact, we'll see, well, there'll be two solutions of m and then two solutions of b, which will give us uh, four different tangent lines. OK, and then just plug it, for example, into the first equation to see what we get. So for instance, b squared, I think that's 9 plus 25 m squared. All right, that's 9 plus, well, m squared was 16 over 9. 
So 25 times 16 over 9. And then, if you want, that just becomes 81 plus 25 times 16 over 9. And again, I had to use my calculator. That was too much. A 481 over 9. Okay, unfortunately, it's not like a square. I wish it simplified to something nice, but doesn't quite. But still, what we get is b is plus or minus square root of 481 over 3. And so in the end, what do we have? Well, we have y equals mx plus b. And again, which with kind of four solutions, plus or minus, I think we have 4 thirds x, plus or minus square root of 481 over 3. Or again, here I want to emphasize there's a solution for positive, negative, and another solution for positive, negative. So really four of them. And again, let me just draw it on the picture that we had. I think that was a vertical ellipse. And then we had the horizontal ellipse. So we have one tangent line with positive b and negative x, which is this one. We have one with positive x, negative b, this one. We have one with negative m, sorry, a negative m, negative b. And we have one with positive m, positive b. It looks a bit scary, but still. And then again, how much calculus did we use? None, hopefully. We just used some nice algebra and again, some little facts about discriminants. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.